soul. You know, like I like soul. I bring soul. Because I, I heard you were like the hook man. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Call me a fool, but you can't fool me. Call me a fool, but you can't. No more tears, because I'm deep in the game. I bought a ticket. Got an eye, you see. I am the hook, the hook Smith. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. And stop. That's I noticed that cause when I looked it up, y'all did so many um, like 30. records. No, I saw something like between 30 albums, 95 and 99, y'all had over 30, 30 million records. No, nah, it was my that. soul. So, so, yeah, so yeah, it was, it, and it was accumulating that, you know, right. And now we're in the digital world, so you know, yeah, yeah, we were working, we never stopped. It was like a five years, like, like, oh man, it was a blur. Mm -hmm. we never stop you know what I'm saying we were the engine to that tank mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying in order for any vehicle to move properly you got to have the engine and it has to be fine tuned it's got to be have proper maintenance and all that type of stuff so we were that engine you know what I'm saying but do you realize how much y'all affected other rappers um, because just like in anything that you do in nature if any career, if you push hard and you are pushing like the way how y'all are doing, all you do is make other people push just as hard. If y'all didn't do what y'all were doing, they wouldn't be pushing as hard. Well, I'm a, I got to give credit where credit is due. It was Peter, you know, he was a driving force. Like he never stopped. He hardly ever sleep. So he, it was like we went from we were working on several projects at one time. Like he said earlier, the revolving doors of artists mm -hmm. from the mystical, from the sea murders, from the fiends, the Mia X, Cain and Abel's, Mac. He just didn't stop. So with a plethora of talent like that, and we we had a uh, we had due dates that were posted on the wall, and we had to meet those due dates. Where did he get that drive from? You're his cousin. You knew him, you know, since he was little, right? Mm-hmm. Where did he get that drive from? Well, he come from the Calio Projects. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm going to use the, uh, I think it's Still Pulse made the song called Sense of Purpose. I think it was Still, still mm -hmm. Pulse. Maybe Third World, but I think it's Still Pulse. But uh, they had a song called Sense of Purpose. He had a sense of purpose. He didn't want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to go back to that. I don't want to subject my children to that. Right. So he had a doubt his drive, you know what I'm saying? And he, you know, he had whatever agreement he had with priority. He wanted to supersede that because I think they doubted him. Mm -hmm. But then by the, you know, when he got us, when he had first meeting Kale or whatever, I think he had met Kale before he had ran into me out here. Mm -hmm. And Kale was, you know, still DJing. But, you know, me and Kale wound up in, in um, California, and we heard the other guys beats and stuff like Craig B and Odell. Carlos was already doing business with him. When he figured he had that sound, he had something that could support, you know, his identity. So, because what he was before us, he was doing a lot of Bay Area stuff for you. You know, you can go back to his earlier albums, and it didn't do it quite like have the, the quite the same effect mm -hmm. as to when we came to the table. Right. So that that really changed the game right there. In the Beast by the Pound group, who would you say, because when you have a group, everybody has their specific um, talent mm -hmm. that they offer to the group. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say your talent was, or what was it specifically that you did for the group to enhance the group? I was multidimensional. Okay, not only did I do beats, I sang, songwriter, you know, mm -hmm. lyric, lyric, you know, lyric songwriter. So I bought that aspect as well, you know, um, soul, you know, like, I like soul, I bring soul. Because I, I heard you were like the hook man. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Call me a fool, but 
you can't fool me. Call me a fool, but you can't. I am the hook, the hook Smith. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I can man, you know, just the talent that God gave me to manufacture, you know, hooks. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And um, that's where a lot of you know the should I say the content came from certain certain hooks that I did. You know what I'm saying? He had some himself as well, but when I came with the hooks, you know, it is what it was. So I think I'm, by me being multi-dimensional. Multi talented, I think that's what's, you know, and I could just play whatever genre, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is, by me being a true musician. So mm -hmm. I brought musicianship to it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.